Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is your detecting. And today I'm going to be detecting on a old uh, sawmill site. And uh, I was here uh, last year. And it was one of the first videos I ever made. And um, I found, managed to find a bell, an old bell that probably belonged to a horse. Because there was a pack going alongside the mill site and they used to use horses to bring out the, the wood and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go today and hopefully I'll dig up some interesting relics and coins. Hopefully now, because uh, I never not really have much luck the year in finding that kind of stuff. Especially the sober. But anyway, uh, I'll give the place a shot and hopefully I don't get eat too much butterflies. And then I'll show you guys some scenery out the area too and yeah. Anyways, without further ado, it's time to do a little short hike to the spot because it's not that far away from this road here. Alright. Alright. I'm actually going to film this entire hike. It's not really a hike, it's just a, a stroll to the spot. Yeah, this this path through here is pretty old, but uh, you never know what you might find on it. I mean, it was on this path where I found that old bell. So, I think on this side up the trails where the old mill was too. As you can tell, there's a river going down, so yeah, that's where the mill was at. Looks like somebody went up here recently on the ATV. Oh, look at Robin. And look at all this mud. Oh God, my boots don't leak. Ah. Oh. Ain't easy carrying the equipment like this, you know. Ah. Well, he really gets his place to wear up. I think this is where the mill was too, so. All right, got the trail a bit. Oh, my boots do indeed leak, or a boot. Oh, let me uh, cut down a few of these trees here. Well, anyways, give this place a shot and hope for the best. It's like the lottery. I had to put on my uh, mosquito net here because, uh, well actually there's not really mosquitoes here, but there's a lot of black flies and they are vicious. Actually there's one in the camera there now. So guys, right here I believe is where the mill was too. Here's the river. It's uh, kind of uh, washed out. Because uh, we had a really bad hurricane like eight years ago, and it really took a toll on the river systems around here. A lot of them were completely destroyed, in other words. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to give this place a try. I know there's a lot of iron in this spot, but who knows? There could be some interesting relics here. Alright, hey guys, so I got my uh, C-Scope Trim XI Pro on uh, no scrim here, and I got myself an iron hit, so we'll see what we got here. It was a good indication of what kind of place this was. Looks like the old nail. Let's see if it's square head. Is that a square head now? Because I, I believe this place was in operation like late 1800s, early 1900s. So it's quite old. Yep. Oh, geez, the flies. Ugh. You went the net on, they're still biting me. I think that's a square head nail. That's pretty cool. It's crooked on the, this part of it, too. This is a pretty long nail. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's go find some more. Maybe some uh, non-iron targets. So, we'll see we got some more evidence that human activity was in this particular area. Look at that. Nice, solid piece of iron. Yeah. Even with my discrimination up a bit, I still got it because it's, well, it's a nice, solid piece. And looks, I don't know if it had a hole in it one time. I'm not too sure what it belongs to. Seems to be a part to something way back in the day. Over a hundred years for sure. 
Pretty cool. So guys, I just uh, checked the hole again where I dug up that metal piece and uh, <laughs> yeah, I just uh, found something else in the same hole. It's a horse cell stud. Even more evidence, huh? How cool is that? Check out that baby. That's a nice non arm relic here. Well guys, same hole and another target. It's the top part of a uh, horse cell stud, I believe. A uh, nice hardy signal Mernestus tree here. Hmm, I'm gonna dig it up. There's lots of roots. It's likely to be armed, but uh, still gonna dig up anyways because hunting relics today and coins, well, of course. But yeah, it's kind of a place where you just gotta dig everything up. <laughs> Here it is, guys. It's a piece of iron, all right. And I think it might be an axe head, which uh, is pretty cool. Uh, can get that. Man, there's a lot of roots in there. So bear with me as I attempt to get this piece of history up. Ugh, this hurt my fingers. Ugh. I wish I was like super duper strong. Oh, there we go. Here it is, guys. An axe head. How cool is that? So this has to still have the wood out? Maybe. Well, awesome. That's definitely a keeper. This used to be logs in it too, working for the mill, I, I think. A little sawmill. Wow. That is awesome. Old axe head. Probably over 100 years old. Not sure. But yeah. Good shape too. I uh, just found another horse cell stud. There's way too many flies around me right now. Holy crap. Wow. Hey guys, this is the pond where that uh, quad show eventually leads to. And yeah, this, this is the source of that river where that mill was uh, nearby. This pond. So on the other side of that quad trail, uh, there's uh, like a stove dump here from when the, the mill was on the go. Big piece of iron. Check it out. Yeah, look at that. And here's some more parts here. Stove parts, old iron. Hey guys, I'm back on the old mill site again, and I just dug up another relic. And it's, uh, appears to be a half of a metal pipe, maybe. Look at that. Very cool iron, iron font. Still doesn't top the axe head, but, hey, still pretty cool. Well guys, that's it for today's hunt. I'm, uh, quite exhausted and fed up. Because there was just that many flies, I know I'm complaining about the flies, but there was just way too many, and I never really found a whole lot of good stuff. The axe head is definitely the best thing I found so far today. And well, it's nice and warm out, I'll give it that. And it's nice and sunny out for once. But uh, yeah, there's definitely kind of weather flies like to uh, reveal themselves on. There's a couple on my window there now. Get rid of them. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more metal detecting and exploration videos. And leave a comment down below because I like reading you guys' comments. And I hope you guys have a great day. Better than what I had today. <laughs> uh, oh well. Metal detecting is like that. I know I say a lot, that a lot in the, my videos, but hey, I like to uh, show what metal detecting is all about. Sometimes you find a treasure, sometimes you find nothing at all. All depends on the location. Remember that now. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, of course. So yeah, have a great day again. Goodbye.